after you'd gone, Rachel Spence. One. The nights I stayed awake, listening to the snores of the old man, on the far side of the canal, lovers quarrelling on the bridge, below my window, their voices trapped, dilated, by the echo chamber of the water's throat. I'd leave the window wide, uncurtained, nothing but threshold. Confessional hour for exiles and angels, those who know that you can burrow into smell or light. Your unwashed skin, the sullen blink of moss. Mystical protocols for liminal people. Lick, look. Lap. Two. In the blood sugar dip of dawn, rat's bony spectral plop. Rib cage of barge moaning as the rope pulls tight against the swell. A time when dreams showed me to myself as blind a boy staggering over the devil's bridge not knowing that it marked the blue way out of here. I am learning that water has its own pulse, fluid of the instinct-driven body, blood in the flowing of blood. I am learning to live in the redshift hour. The plain on the map where the road runs out, the Japanese engravers practising over and over, the stuttering line where the painter's brush falters for lack of ink. These replicas of absence requiring years to master.